Hello guys, I, I know I say it's every vlog, I have to keep that down because um, it's nearly 10 o'clock at night and I, tomorrow it's another away day, it is the bother's last trip to Griffin Park, I, um, I'm all packed, um, ready to go in the morning with my mouthwash, I, I've started taking mouthwash to every um, away game because um, there's nothing worse than come point for journey home on an away game when your teeth start to feel minging. So I have to come with me on every long distance away trip now. My mouthwash. Um, but I, uh, I think this is... Um, going to be a tough one. Now I think we're going to lose 2-0. Uh, we haven't lost um, at Griffin Park since the 1950s. Although a lot of the years until 2014, Brentford weren't in the same league of us. But um, aye, this is our last trip to Griffin Park as Brentford get their new home at the end of this se well, next season. So at the end of the season for Brentford fans will be emotional. Um, of course, well, it's always sad when you let... Well, it's sad in one way when you're leaving your ground what's been your home ground for over a century. But of course, well... I'm sure the new ground will feel somewhat different to them all. But I am, um, yeah. Alarm set, half six. Off to Griffin Park tomorrow. Come on, the bubba. If what's the gap services, the Hi. door. Aye. Right, Joe, what yeah, do you I'm reckon fine. for today? <coughs> do you want me to be positive? Well, if I'm putting. Say what you want. If I'm being positive, one all draw. If I'm being realistic, three or four nil loss. Ah, uh, right. I don't think we'll do out today. Yeah. Not. I mean, I just don't think. I'm, I'm excited to see Morrison and obviously, I can't say his name, but that new centre back. Oh. M. M ba 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 ha ha Harold, um, Harold or whatever it yeah. is, yeah. That guy, I'm excited to see them play, but yeah, I don't think, I don't think we'll get a win. Uh, I see it, Joe. There is Brentford's new stadium getting built. Ah well, arrived now to the Brentford. Well, I'm just walking to the stadium. Um, I've had to walk a different way this time due to um, some works we're doing, so you can't walk the way we did last time. I've got to go over this bridge. There's the ground there. Hey, look at that though. Old school. Well, ah well, coming to Brentford this time, a much more positive. The weather's a much nicer. Last time I came here, two years ago, it's the coldest match. Some people I know who've been going to games for 50 years have ever been to in history. It was honestly, it was that cold. This, this is the away fans stand here. Quick question for you, sir. Yeah. Something's an improvement compared to last time I was here. Well, you've got sunglasses, so it's definitely the weather. I mean, there's sunbeams. Look at them Brentford fans over there. Yeah. Where they're standing, so uh, no, so a lot warmer today, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Tightest ground is. 
if someone wants to get a pass, you have to like, even, that's even if they're only, only um, skinny as well. Well, if the match is far then, watching planes may be my best then. We have had some chances this half at least. Ah oh, well, it is now half time. On a positive note, we have had two shots on target, but they are both quite weak ones. And I, to be honest, for every side, I wouldn't say it was too bad, but obviously they got goals around us because, well, the miles more are you passing us?
some results but looking rather slim now but there's still like 10 minutes to go it has been an afternoon of absolute drama so you don't know well, that's it now I need a set of eight moves Legend all the way, always a part for fans, win, lose or go, home all the way. Ah well, um, yes we lost. I'm not going to have an epic land because it's somewhat normal now. Aye. But yeah, there was a bit of excitement in the second half, particularly when they started scoring goals. And in point where I believe they could have won and got and made the miracle happen of bother scoring three goals but I uh, yeah Brentford are a good side so I think any bad side could play play like they played the second half we could beat anyone but uh, yeah these next three games are absolute crucial we need to win at least two of the next three games just to keep up with points. Ah oh, well then you guys. Thank you all for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe and goodbye.